you've talked a lot in other interviews about sort of the workout for this and getting in shape for this role mm -hmm. and also what is it about that and that physicality that's so important to you? There are certain elements of, that you can control that are within your control with acting. And, and one of them is very much the vehicle that you're in. I mean, what do you look like? Mm -hmm. That is something that has been a, a changeable, like it's an asset, you know, like what, what do you look, are you big or are you little? Are you wearing a mask? Do you have facial hair? And you know, whatever it is, you can change the way you look. And that's one of the few elements that you can actually control when you're trying to create a character. And so for me, it was important to have the physicality of comic book hero. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I read comic books, I loved them. I was fascinated with the anatomy of, of comic book heroes growing up. Like I would draw heroes every day. I would draw the heroes and heroines from comic books. I had them, I painted them on my walls. They were like cut and ripped, you know? And I wanted to be that, I wanted to, I wanted to do that justice. On set for this, did you ever like do any doodles of like alien creatures or anything for James or anyone? No, I never did, but I, I'll tell you this, as a person who appreciates the artwork of the Marvel comic books, when I walked into the movie and they walked me through the big room full of all the concept artwork, I saw several versions of Peter Quill's potential wardrobe right. and costumes, and they were my face. It was so surreal. I stole, I stole like three of them. I'm taking that, I'm taking that <laughs> I stole that one. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Hey, you know what? There's another name you might know me by. Star-Lord. When you're developing the character, even before you start shooting, how important is it to have seen those sketches? That's important. That's an important part. When the final design concept for the wardrobe, especially in a movie like this, is finished, and you put that wardrobe on, and you look at yourself, you're learning who you're going to play. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You have a good sense of it like what he's come from, what are his motivations, what were the things he loved before he left Earth, you know, what's this music that he's listened to, what's that all about, who is he, what kind of animal is he, all those things that you tr you can prepare as an actor. You don't know what he looks like until you put those final finishing touches on and then putting on the wardrobe and holding the guns, you look at yourself and you're like, oh, that's who I'm playing. Marvel, your universe.